What's up, people? It's your boy Slide. In this video, I'm going to talk about a woman who forced herself on another guy. So, the title of the article goes Cable Customer Forced Oral Sex on Repairman. A North Carolina woman is facing charges after she forced a cable man, a cable repairman, to let her perform a sex act on him. Mildred Newsom, 47, 47 of, Fayetteville, of Fayetteville, was arrested Saturday after investigation into the man's accusations following an April 20th repair call at her apartment. The cable guy was there to work on her box, and while waiting for it, it waiting for it to reset, as he was sitting on a couch, she came over and grabbed his hand and forcibly placed his hand on her, own, on her own breast. The identified technician in his 30s tried to resist Newsom's unwanted sexual advance, but she persisted and performed oral sex on him. Newsom told the man that he would that she would turn the story on him if he reported it, put the alleged assault to police saying she would tell authorities that he was the aggressor. When he was able to finally get home, get out of the home, he did report it the same day, actually actually shortly after the event took place. Newsom faces two felony counts of second degree forcible sex offense and one misdemeanor count of sexual battery and has been released after posting bail. So you guys, See this story, right? So pretty much this woman came on to this guy who was supposed to do some work on her cable box. And she just forced him, she, she forced herself on him. See, when you hear these type of stories, these come right out of a movie, right? See, many times people will say, okay, this sounds like a movie plot, okay? The repairman comes over, then thinking that the guy will probably won't turn down sex, he's just going to accept any advances that come his way. This is the thing. This happened in real life. This 47-year-old woman forced herself upon a man in his 30s. Now, ask yourself this question. Why would a woman who's 47 years old force herself upon another man is due to social isolation and loneliness because she probably doesn't have options, okay? Judging by her picture, she's probably fat, okay? And we all know most big girls don't get decent guys. We all know this, okay? So now this woman basically thought that most guys will not turn down sex. So I'm just going to get this guy and do, I, do what I want to do with him. Because most of the time in society, if a woman jumps on your bones, it's very rare, right? And most guys won't say no. But she was surprised that this guy turned her down. This is just my opinion when I say this. I believe this guy turned her down because he does not find her attractive. That's just my opinion. Okay? Because most men in America usually don't get approached by girls on a regular basis. So now he, one woman jump, you know, approaches this guy. He's like, I'm not interested. He, he, he could have found her not attractive. You know, that's fine. Then later, um, another thing could have happened is he reported the story because he didn't want no risk of sexual allegations on his record. He's like, you know what? After all this Me Too movement shit going on, I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to put this chick and just to protect myself. You know, that's why I believe happened. But I'm just telling you guys the effects of social isolation. Think about it. A woman can easily get men in America. Easily. In America, women can get men easily. 
on average. But this woman decided to jump on a guy. What did I tell you guys about, about loneliness in America? What did I tell you guys? People think I'm talking at my ass when I say these things. We are now living in a society that's so socially isolated that people become more desperate and more crazy as time goes on. Okay? You guys need to understand what I'm talking about here. So, social isolation is a very big deal in the United States. Okay? Because, yes, you may have friends. You may have who you talk to. It doesn't mean you're not isolated. Social isolation is pretty much when you do not have anyone to hang out with or spend time with face to face. That's all it is. It can be in the dating world. It can be just social life in general. Talking to on a telephone does not ease your loneliness. The, the, talk, 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 talking to someone on the telephone does not mean you're not lonely. Some people out there, they have friends all over the telephone, all over the internet to talk to all the time, but yet they have no one to talk to face to face. You need face to face interactions. Okay? So, this is what you guys have to understand. Okay? Women today in America, they make the dating game so unfair, so rigged, that people cannot get ahead in the dating game. Right? But now you have women forcing themselves upon guys. It's like you just can't win out here. You cannot win in this society. First, it's like women say men are this, men are that. You know, they're too picky. They have all the females have all the options. Now it's like when women approach a guy, she expects the guy to just accept her advances. Just in general. Okay? This is the crap that we deal with in America. It's like Men do not know what females want. So that's why men are saying, fuck it, I'm done dating. I'm going to MGTOW. I'm traveling out of the country because this, this shit's getting ridiculous. But anyhow, let me know what you guys think. Peace.